I just got out of the shower and my hair has been sitting in this towel now for about half an hour so it is now just a little bit damp but I wanted to show you guys how I've been blow drying my hair. Brand and I are about to head out and go take some photos so I need to throw some makeup on. I've been blow drying my hair a lot lately and I've been getting so many questions about how I do my blowout and how I style my little curtain bangs so Let's go ahead and dive into it. First thing you need is a hair dryer. I've been using this one from T3 and I really, really like it. I do have a discount code if you guys want to use it, but what I like about this is it's really powerful, pretty quiet, and it dries my hair really fast. And it's super important to have this little clip situation. This helps to prevent any frizz when you're blow drying. Also, I've watched so many Brad Mondo videos. He's like a celebrity hairstylist and he says you cannot do a blowout without having this add-on so I've just been using it ever since then you'll also need a round brush this is a random one that I got from Sally's this is called the Conair Pro ceramic tools it's just a random one has hair all over it as long as you have some sort of like round brush that is meant for like blow drying your hair use it this one's great because my hair doesn't get stuck in it while I'm like twirling it then you need a comb and a heat protectant this one is from Eva NYC I've been really enjoying it I just use Honestly, whatever random products I have. So I first spray my hair with the heat protectant. Like I said, I got out of the shower about half an hour ago and my hair has been sitting in the towel. So it is damp, but not like wet. So you wanna make sure that it's still wet so that you can style it, but it's not like sopping wet. Then another thing you will need is these little like hair rollers. I actually picked these up from a little Asian dollar store near me so you can go to Daiso or even like a Dollar Tree will probably have these hair rollers. I've also seen them at Target but they're a little bit more expensive at Target but anything like that will do the trick. I just started using those the last few times I styled my hair and they've made the biggest difference. I feel like my hair holds the like styling a lot better so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip up half of my hair and then when I blow dry my hair what I do is I take this round brush and I'll go ahead and do little sections so I'll do like one inch sections. I'll go ahead and twirl the hair like away from my face and kind of drag the hair dryer just like so along twist a little bit drag twist a little bit drag and i'll go through multiple times and repeating this motion just really helps your hair to hold that curl so i'll go ahead and reset again do the same thing pull twirl pull twirl and then at the very end i'll roll it all the way up and blast the heat. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do this first hair. Might help if I plug this in. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh. I'll let it cool just for a second or two. And then go ahead, pull it out. And then I'll use my finger to kind of twirl it like that. And this is the little curl that you end up with. As my hair like dries and cools down, it will fall a little bit tighter. So these rollers really help for my hair to like hold their curl a lot. So I'm just gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna roll it up in the rollers. Again, this is optional. This is something that I recently started doing. If you don't have these and you just wanna blow dry your hair, you can go ahead and just do this throughout all of your hair and leave it like that. But these rollers just really help to like hold everything in place. And I'm really bad at doing this because like I said, I just started. So there's a lot of frizzies everywhere, but the less frizzy it is, the better it's gonna like end up. Because I clipped it like this, it's probably gonna end up a little frizzy looking, but hey, we're all beginners here, okay? And I'm just showing you like how I've been doing it. It's been working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry the rest of my hair. I'm not gonna use curlers for the rest, just so you can see the difference like with and without. FYI, I do have my hair dryer on medium heat and then low air.
Okay, so this is my hair blow dried. You can see there's like a little bit, there's some nice volume. There's like a little bit of curl, but not a whole lot. And then I'll show you this one that's been, and look how pretty it is. It's doing kind of a weird situation right now, but you can see how bouncy it is. Okay, so I'm gonna blow dry the rest of my hair, but I'm gonna clip my bangs back. So we're gonna do that at the very end. And then for these upper hairs, I am gonna use the rollers because these, I want them to hold their curl. Okay, so I did the top half of my hair. I'm gonna redo the bottom parts of my hair and just put everything in the rollers. So it's it's pretty dry, but I'm just gonna heat it up just so that it will hold the curl when I put it in the roller. Okay, I ran out of rollers. <laughs> And I only have one left, so I'm gonna use this for my bangs. So I'm gonna show you how I do my bangs. All that I do is blow dry it directly into my face and kind of swish it from side to side. I don't know why I do this. Brad Mom knows how to do it, so I do it. Once I do that, I'll go ahead and take my brush and I'll roll the hair away from me. Okay, perfect. Kind of. Honestly, the back of my hair, it's covered by all my layers anyway, so I usually just put the top of my hair in rollers. If you don't have these, I went like three months of styling my hair with just my blow dryer and brush and it still was really, really pretty. It's just extra, you know? So that is the hair all done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some quick makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, now it's been about an hour and I'm gonna take these out. Okay, this is what it looks like straight out of the rollers. I'm gonna quick go and eat really quick because these are definitely gonna fall out. These bangs are super cute though. Look how floofy they are. These are definitely gonna flatten, so I will be right back. This is the finished hair and it is still actually really holding the curl, but I feel like it is so cute. It gives me very like old school vibes and I just think it is so, Cute. I've been loving the rollers and if I didn't use it, my hair would not be this floofy, but I think that it just is such a cute effect and with all the layers that I have as well, it just makes my hair look so volumized and pretty. So I've been obsessed. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I use down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that down below. I always read all of your guys' comments, but that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye. Keep loose and sleep, I'm mad.